Welcome to Iron Man Raid Specialist, featuring Huan Man Raid. The goal of this series is to acquire gear and skills to perfect a Raids 1 Specialist account. Every 75 Raids I can go for 1 of 19 upgrades necessary to build this account, ending at 1500 Soul Raids. Please enjoy the series. But I tried it just because I was curious and I can't see shit. Back to back, guys. We're going for a back to back. <laughs> Ooh, yo, that's crazy, man. It's been a few days since the last purple. All right, so uh, I guess I'm gonna go for 300 KC today because we're, we're gonna do another one. Holy shit. Okay, let's just open it up, boys. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, what the f? Oh, oh, holy shit. I got the pin. Oh my god, what the hell? Holy shit. Uh -oh, okay, okay. Holy shit, that's crazy. Boys, boys, second pet on this account, man. That's awesome. All right, let's open it up, though. Here we go. Oh my god, Arcane Prayer Scroll. Whew, I don't even know what would have happened if that was another unique, man. I would have flipped the table, man. Didn't ask. Holy shit, man. That's, that's amazing. I can't believe I actually got this. Hee <laughs> hee, what shall we talk about, human? We should talk about doing some raids, you know? And getting some more drops, man. Rarer than Tebow? Actually, yeah, the omelet is actually more rare than the Tebow. The omelet is one in approximately 42 million points, whereas the Tebow is uh, one in 30 million points. So, yeah, it is about 50% more rare. Almost forgot insured, but thankfully, if you were mine, just told me about that. Please, insured. Yes, two pets though, that's cool. Alright boys, Kim, let's see if we got the back-to-back. -back. Okay, alright, yeah, no way. But, 300th raid though, that's pretty big deal, because I can actually start using the Dragon Hunter crossbow that we got recently, so... But yeah, we can actually use this bad boy, starting uh, the next raid. But uh, before we go back and work on some crazy amounts of raids to work on the next big upgrade, we're gonna have to work on the Pegasian boots grinding. So yeah, on the raid side, we unlock the new item. And on the non-raid side, we're gonna go ahead and try to upgrade into the Pegasian boots. So yeah, man, looking forward to that. The next time we're gonna see the Armadillo crossbow in action is going to be when... Uh, we prepare for the Infernal Cape. Damn, that was clean. That was actually really nice. No purple, but I'm digging these Dragon Hunter Crossbow raids. Um, that's my sixth raid with the Dragon Hunter Crossbow, and every single head face has been phenomenal, you know? What I felt like was really good RNG head faces before is happening every single time now with the Dragon Hunter Crossbow, so... We're just getting Miracle head faces every single time now. Oh, is that a 60? 59. Close enough. Oh, that's another 59. Oh, easy game. What is that? 60? 58? My god. Easy game, dude. Even if I don't land those ruby bolt specs, that's a 60. A 61! Really? Holy f I thought my max hit was a 60. Well, never mind. I guess I just found out my true max hit. 61 again! Oh my fing god. Oh my god, this is so OP, dude. Jesus Christ. That's insane. Wow, I just hit two 60s, bro. Okay, there's literally no point in blowpiping, honestly. There's no point. Literally no point. Oh, that's amazing. This is the worst reward you can basically get right here. Holy crap, guys. It didn't even make 50k this time. They killed the uh, soul, soul Peter price though. Jesus, Parasins is only 2 GP. That was really scary, dude. I almost fucked myself over trying to do the redemption. Oh my god, I just fucked myself over. Oh, uh, what HP? Oh my 
One HP, boys. This is so shit. I'm not hitting. I have like no food. Great. I have like one brew left. No! What are you doing? Why would you ruby bolt at the last second there? Are you kidding me? Did we get him? Oh my god, please. Crossbow, just do it, man. Oh. If I didn't have a dragon hunter to crossbow, I think this rate I would have 100% died. Because I ran out of prayer, I ran out of food, I ran out of everything. Nothing I could have done. I just had to kill it that moment, basically. Here we go, guys. Just got ourselves 89 wood cutting. One more to go for 90 wood cutting with the ultimate goal of 99. So, 10 more overall levels to go. So, if you have a Dragon Hunter crossbow, you might be wondering is it viable to use the blowpipe on the head phase anymore? Yes, uh, blowpipe's still pretty damn good, especially if you are only using Ruby Bolts. You don't want to be Ruby Bolting at like the last 15 20% just because. It's going to hit very low when it procs, and yeah, it's just going to cost you some DPS. So if you use Diamond Bolts ever, Diamond Bolts are also really good, by the way. Then you can just camp the entire head face with a crossbow, just because you'll never have troll hits. Alright, just got 76 bird housing. And uh, when's the next level to the next bird housing level, you know? What we got here? Oh, that's strange. Why is it called Hunter? It's supposed to be bird house. Oh well, I'll do a few more bird house runs and I'll get the next level too. <sighs> oh, holy shit. Goddamn PKs. Alright, I'm trying to recharge my ring of wealth real quick, you know. So I can actually go ahead and make myself an ornate box today because I'm getting the 83 today, so... All right, we made it. Oh, <laughs> that's the one thing, unfortunately, you have to pay attention to if you do it fast, is that you might accidentally click on the teleport. So the method I'm doing for construction is the mythical cape rack method. This method is really only good for Iron Man, to be honest, because you can just do oak dungeon doors for more XP per hour, and it's the same price or if not a little cheaper even. The mythical cape rack method is quite special because teak planks normally give you 90 experience a uh, plank no matter what you build with, but mythical cape racks gives you more experience per teak plank. So I get 123.3 experience instead of the 90. So yeah, you get a, a big amount more, like over 30%. There are some iffy parts to this method. The first one is, I've shown you earlier, accidentally getting teleported away. You can't really fix that one, you just have to be, you know, better with your clicks. That's really all you can do. And another problem sometimes is that you might fill up your inventory with planks and you just can't take the cape off the rack because you don't have inventory space. I found a pretty easy way to solve that problem. So I just asked my butler to get me, I think it was 24 teak planks. And I would ask him to get me those teak planks when I only have about three sets of cape racks to make. I don't ask him before. What that does is, when I ask him, I'll be able to clean through all three of my last sets and I will always have an inventory space for my cape rack, even if the butler talks to me, you know, and gives me my new inventory's worth. So that's a pretty easy to fix issue. Day two. 78. Construction. Here we go. So, oh, hey, 79 construction. Nothing going on over there, but one more to go for 80, though. Ho, 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 ho. Day three. Ah, there we go. Another good milestone. 80 construction. Nice. I can make some of the uh, the altars. Yeah, I think I should make one of those. Honestly, especially uh, the ancient one. All right, two more actions. One more. There we go. 81 construction. Very nice. Alright. I am gonna first use all these mahogany planks before I go back to the teak planks. I got two more levels to go. So, yeah, the mahogany is gonna help speed this up a bit. After doing a lot of the cape racks, I was getting about 350k an hour with a decent effort. Compare that to the benches, I would say benches are still probably 
the better choice for teaks. Mainly if you already have all the planks ready and you have a lot of cash. Mahogany tables are so freaking nice, man. You can get like over a million hour, but you know, I'm kind of a noob at this, so I was getting like 900k. And yeah, it's pretty easy. With a good uh, zoom in and a nice camera angle, you can basically just one spot click the entire process, as you can see here. I'm building, I'm removing, and I barely have to move my mouse, so. Six and a half hours later. Yes? Two? Two more? One more? Yes, this is gonna be it. Yes! We're done! Finally. Okay. 83 construction, it is. Nothing good in here except the ability to boost all the way to the uh, ornate jewelry box. Actually just cut some silit cilia, cilia skips or whatever. I remember doing this before, but I think they made it slightly less annoying to do because these guys used to hit like a freaking truck. Not so much anymore, but yeah. It's very easy. Like, I've only cut two trees and I've gotten four mushrooms already. Just gotta get ten. There we go! That was fast as hell. Ten uh, mushrooms for the fairy ring. That should be perfect. Ah, uh, now I have a really nice house setup right here. Perfect rectangle helps with loading the house a bit faster so we have our pool going to be placed here and then the uh, jewelry box right there so it's a perfect uh, very minimal distance traveling between the two because I'm gonna be using these two combos all the time so yeah oh plus five yes yes we did it the ornate jewelry box okay I also have uh, the preserve on so I have enough time I'm at plus four, but the preserve should be good enough to do the job here, so show me the money. There we go. Yes, that's awesome, man. With plenty of time to spare, you know? Might have been a bit riskier without the uh, preserve. But that's amazing. Oh, that's that's great. It's going to be useful for so many things, of course. You know, it's a very splashable uh, tool set here. But yeah, first thing we're going to use these two combos for it is uh clue scrolls actually let me build the uh fairy ring too to wrap it up i actually don't have to boost for that luckily start the process of camping for a ton of medium clues and looking for those ranger boots all right let's get started there's a lot of stuff that i have to do preparatory wise for the medium clue grind so obviously it's going to involve catching a lot of electrics but I'm gonna do the jar generator method and uh, basically I'm just gonna keep catching a bunch of elliptics, uh, natures, and essence implings so I can convert them to enough jar generators you know to keep keep lasting me for a while so this is nice because I'm gonna use it to do a special strategy because either you can do it where you collect a bunch of implings and just stock them up and then open them all or you can do it where you just do one inventory at a time, you get a clue, and then you fill up your inventory with electics, and then you leave and do the clue and do and repeat that process. So that's the one I'm doing. That one's less of a annoyance, so. So basically, each jar that I get, I can get 30 implings, which those 30 implings can get me another 5 jar generators. Fill, fill a few more inventories of these implings, I don't have like so many goddamn jars. Alright, let's begin the medium clue grind. I have enough base uh, implings to keep going and you know getting basically infinite jars. Oh, medium clue scroll. There we go. First one. Now we just gotta fill up the inventory with a bunch of implings, you know, preferably essence implings, electric implings. Wow, that was it. First medium clue from this whole grind, boys. Whoa! Two unique items. Mm. Oh, that was it. Second medium clue. Here we go. Oh, oh, wow. Uh, strength amulet C. That's kind of cool. They took a while to collect, you know. Where's my character going? What the hell was that? I was right next to it, and my character says, "Nah, man. I'm just gonna run away from the impling." 
This woodcutting level, I was quite looking forward to. Nine day woodcutting. I hope、um, I start seeing some differences there at Ice Demon. But anyways, I can also cut redwood trees now. So I'm definitely thinking about switching over to AFK at redwoods just because teaks aren't that AFK, and I don't really need any more logs for construction. I only really want an 83. So yeah, at some point I will make the switch over there. Oh, what the? <gasps> what the? F We already got the ranger boots. Oh my god, dude! What the? F wow! Holy shit! Okay, I guess the luck just—it、uh, hasn't—it hasn't fucking ended, dude. Holy shit! <laughs> oh my god! Wow. Okay. All right. Yeah, I can't believe that already happened. Shit. That was the quickest grind I've ever done for、uh, any of the upgrades thus far, dude. Holy crap! All right, shit. I I I don't know when I'm gonna pay the price for you know having such good RNG lately, but wow, that's that's actually ridiculous. Holy crap! Luckiest Iron Man, yeah, dude. I I might be on track to becoming the luckiest Iron Man in the entire game. Just saying. <laughs> that's crazy. Okay, well, without further ado. It's time to、uh, yeah, yoink this pagation crystal out of the bank and、uh, just actually you know what first things first、uh, let 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 me just wear the ranger boots. All right, that's enough of that. It's time to just combine everything together. Yes, this cannot be reversed. I completely understand that. Here we go. Wow, that's amazing. Pagation boots on the account. Jeez. Ah,、uh, that's actually really good. I went from a hundred and eighteen range to a hundred and thirty because of the pagations. That's actually really good, especially for the blowpipe. It'll make skeleton room vanguards a little bit of fossa, a little bit of ohm, extra nice. I guess meter down too. But yeah, I think we're gonna go with this setup for now. The only difference is that、uh, I swapped out an extra stamina for the pagations, but. But now that this upgrade is taken care of, we're going straight to 375 KC so that we can grind、uh, the Inferno Cape. So yeah. All right, it's time to mock off the Pagasian boots. Finally, it is done. I mean, can't really say finally. We got that really early, so let's retract that statement. It is done. Okay, so we still have a lot to go in terms of upgrades, but we're making some decent progress here. All right, so we finished our fourth upgrade, and、uh, we are now going to be working on pursuing our fifth upgrade, the Inferno Cape. The Inferno Cape challenge is right around the corner. I just thought it'd be nice to get the Inferno Cape kind of early on into the series. You know, might as well challenge myself a little bit here, and I hope you guys are looking forward to it because yeah, it's gonna be a great next few episodes. That's for sure. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. We're gonna be wrapping up here. If you really enjoyed the video, please give this video a like, as、uh, we can promote this video to the crazy YouTube algorithm that nobody really knows how it works. But I'm guessing the like button probably does something. And thank you guys so much for watching the Iron Man Race Specialist. I will see you guys later with another video, hopefully in another few days.